Hi everyone, happy Saturday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019-2020 Panini Mosaic Basketball 2-box uh, cello pack break number 6. And there are, tw so it's a 24-pack cello break, basically. And there's an early bird special and all cards ship, right? No, no, veteran comments don't ship in this one, that's right. Except for Luca, Giannis, and LeBron. And I don't think Kobe's on the base card set list here, but if he was, he'd, he would ship too. So that's random team six. There's an early bird special. First 20, get a shot at an extra spot. So different dice roll for that. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. Five and three, eight times aim on top. After eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. After eight times, we got Stephen Blair. Congrats to you, Steve. You are, after eight times, you are the early bird that catches the worm. All right, now let's gather everybody's names here and s assign you a random team. Good luck, everybody, here. Roll it and randomize it. Six, three and a three, six the hard way. One, two, three, four, five, and six. After six, we've got Zach down to Steven. Six times for the teams. Four, five. Good luck, everybody. Six. After six, we've got the Nets on the bottom and the Bucks on the top. All right, Zach with the Bucks, Jesse with the Magic, Steven with the Jazz with your early bird spot, Joe with the Hawks, Steven with the Rockets, Anthony with the Mavs, John Samuelson with the Wizards, Ryosuke Kimura with the Timberwolves, Steven Blair with the Lakers, Corey Barrow with the Suns, Bobby Bursky with the Warriors, Proust with the 76ers, Bursky with the Kings, TT. Tim Tyler with the with the Twin Turbo with the Trailblazers. Tyler Hong with the uh, Grizz. Nice. Rocio with the Raptors. Stephen Blair with the Hornets. Joe, we've got a couple different Joes in here. Joe F. Joe L. Joe F. with the Pacers. We named the dog Indiana. Chad Meyer with the uh, Pistons. Oliver with the Thunder. Ryo with the Spurs. Tim with the Knicks. Henry with, Henry with the uh, Cavs. Bill... With the Nuggets, Anthony with the Bulls, Joe Lachat with the Clippers, Stephen Blair with the Heat, Henry Benson with the Celtics, Joe and or Andreessen with the Pelicans. There you go, nice. And Stephen with the Brooklyn Nets. There you go. Let's alphabetize by team. We're gonna pause the video really quick and allow for some trades. Uh, where's the pause button? There it is. So stick around. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. There were no trades, so that list right there remains the same. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. We got 666. Six, six. All right. Good luck, everybody. I mean, if you believe in that sort of thing. All right. Let's... I thought I brought my official knife here. All right, good luck. Wow, looks like just one left in that Instagram Live hit draft. If you're into that, yeah, we're pretty, uh, if you look on the schedule in our chat, we're pretty booked for the evening. So, but Ted is still available to do personal. I think he just finished one up just a few moments ago.
at Jaspie's Breaks Instagram Live. Good luck. Keep ripping open these packs here. Uh, Joe Andreessen got randomized the Pelicans in this one. And Stephen Blair got the early bird spot. And you have the Hawks in this one. All right. And you'll get that Trey Young. Luka Doncic right there. LeBron James. Darius Garland, Silver. Magic Johnson. No worries, Joe. Ben Simmons give and go. Eric Bledsoe Green. Remember, those aren't numbered, but they will ship. It's just Vet Commandant won't ship. This John Collins is a silver, so it will ship. Harrison Barnes will ship, too. Stops Porzingis. And all those Team USA cards will go to the team, uh, groupratechecklist.com. If you go there, they'll have the team assignments there. I think it's what you would expect it to be, right? Larry Bird goes to the Celtics. Magic Johnson goes to the Lakers. Uh, Kevin Durant goes to the Nets. Vince Carter goes to the Raptors. All right, and MVP is LeBron James. That's Cavs. So that will go to Henry Benson. Oh, let's see some John Moran or some Zion. Let's go. No, nothing, huh? PJ Washington. All right. Got one more. Uh, should we save all the pinks for last? These pink camos are exclusive to this set, of course. I believe Ted has some more of this available as personal breaks, individual packs as personal 
pack breaks if you want to do those. Instagram Live at Jaspies Breaks. Instagram Live at Jaspies Breaks. The website here, my channel, the main channel, we're pretty, we're pretty much booked almost until 10.30, 11 o'clock tonight. But Ted has uh, has some time available, I believe. But it could that could fill up pretty quickly too. So if you've got the itch to break, you can pop over there, pop and hop over there, and see see what's going on. See what he has available for you. Ooh, nice. Yeah, visit visit Ted at Jaspie's Breaks. On Instagram Live, let him know that you uh, that you picked up those boxes, and he'll take care of you. Because he's not going to break it until you're present in that room. Good luck. Basketball is coming back, ladies and gentlemen, and before pre-pandemic, I think you and I, most of you should know that we were pretty big fans of uh, investing a little bit of money in a sports team or two. It's kind of something that we enjoy doing. So there were some, some, some futures investments that I made on some teams in the NBA. Put a Portland plus 275 to win the eighth seed in the Western Conference. Whether outright or via that little play in that they have. Plus 275 for Portland. Also invested on the Pelicans at plus 325 and the Spurs at plus 1800. 18 to 1. Figure teams like. I feel like Portland. With uh, Dame Lillard, hungry, hungry team, CJ McCollum. They got Yusef Nurkic healthy, I think. I think Zach, Zach Collins, John Collins, one of the Collins is on. Who's a pretty solid player, and I think he is. They've got some people coming back healthy. Is what I'm trying to spit out. I think they have Hassan Whiteside too. I think that was a pretty good addition to that Trailblazers team. San Antonio's a longer shot, but. A well-coached team, a deep, well-coached team. No one really, you know, I guess no one really spectacular on that team, but but all solid, excellent players. And maybe after a long layoff, a well-coached team, you know, will be poised to do better coming out of the gate. And especially in these last, like, just eight regular season games before the any before any play-in games and. And whatnot. Pelicans, I purely chose just for Zion. <laughs> It'd just be good for the hobby. All right, here we go. All right, and there's NBA debut Zion. Speaking of Zion, Joe Andreessen with that one. I think Nurkic coming back, though, he's healthy, right, John Samuelson? I think a healthy Nurkic adds a lot to that team. You know, a motivated Dame Lillard. Siege McCollum's great. So they've got they've got some players on that team. That's always a, that's always a trailer is always a dangerous team. There's Giannis right there. Talking about Hassan Whiteside. There he is. So those are the sort of longer shot teams 
picking value plays mostly, not necessarily laying a lot with the laying a lot of dollar bills with the favorites. Favorites are favorites for a reason, right? All right, there's LeBron James for the Lakers. Stephen Blair has my Lakers, and this LeBron James goes to the Cavs. Henry Benson. I like the dogs. Coop says, if Hooper loses this fight, you quit. Is this is this the Hooper fight right here? Oh, there's Chase Hooper. There's a Hachimura. I could take this Hooper kid. Probably not. And a Zion Williamson at the very end. Base Zion, another one for uh, Joe and the Pelicans. Nice. All right, now the pink camos. Let's get those. Now I didn't do a eighth seed for the Eastern Conference because there's really not there's really not that much competition for that there. So not I didn't see too much value in that. But I did pick an Eastern Conference champion, two Eastern Conference champion picks, value picks, right? Longer shots, right? Bucks are most likely gonna gonna win the East. But I get, I put a sprinkled a little investment on the Boston Celtics at plus 600. I thought that would be interesting. You know, Jason Tatum, good coaching with Brad Stevens. So that's a strong team there. They could, they could if anyone's going to kind of surprise the Bucks, it would be a team like the Celtics. Another team, even a longer shot pick, Miami. At plus 1,800. Another uh, strong, well-coached team. Balanced team. And I feel like they, you know, and Jimmy Butler on that team gives it gives it some grit. Right, Kemba's on that Celtics team too. So I feel like if you're going to take a really long shot, sprinkle a little bit on, on Miami, in my opinion. Western Conference champion, listen, it's probably going to be the Lakers or the Celtics or the Clippers, right? That's pretty obvious. But a couple long shot picks, Houston, Harden and Westwood, Dallas, Porzingis, and uh, Doncic. Houston at plus 1,000 and Dallas at plus 2,000. So long shots for sure. But there's any any team that's going to topple the Lakers, my Lakers, or the Clippers, Houston or Dallas. That's what I think. New Orleans. Maybe New Orleans. Maybe New Orleans. What are they? I don't to win the West. I don't know. I think plus like ten thousand, fifty thousand or something like that. Fifty to one, I think. I mean, one of these days, the Rockets are going to have to get over the hump. Is my is is my reasoning. Could be the year where you don't expect him to do it, you know. I mean, Westbrook and Harden are still pretty incredible players. They can they can take over. They can win you a playoff game just on their own, right? And maybe you argue that hey, maybe the layoff, you know, maybe the layoff hurts players like LeBron James. You know, older players having to gear up for the season, get into the season, get into a groove, then stop, then restart again. You know, maybe it, maybe it hurts hurts them. And they're not the Lakers aren't terribly deep either. Lakers, Celtic or Clippers, still uh, still the favorites, I think. 
but they, they could get got. There's a Hachimura pink camo for John Samuelson. You're a wizard, John. You're a wizard. You're a ruddy wizard, Harry. Wow, and an NBA debut, pink camo, Zion Williamson. Now, Brandon Clark to close things out. That's very nice. So a nice break for the Pelicans in this one, Joe Andreessen. The dice tumbled in the right way today for you. And there you have it, boys and girls. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was two box, random team six, two cello boxes of 2019-2020 Panini Mosaic Basketball. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.